today I am going to be doing my 2014 reflection video. So, at the beginning of the year, I wrote down memorable things, and I haven't looked at this in a while. So, they are all written down right here, so I thought I would read some of them. And I'm just warning you now, this is probably going to be a long video. So, this is it in order. So, on January 15th, I was tweeted, followed, and retweeted by Clarissil. On the 29th of January, Megan Rosette favorited one of my tweets. On April 2nd, Grayson Allen favorited my tweet, and he is a basketball player for Duke. On the 28th and the 29th of January, we had our first snow days. On May 31st, I went to the Independence Mall with my friend. I did my first babysitting job on January 11th. On 6, 17, 14, a member of the 20s followed me on Twitter. On March 26, I was mentioned, mentioned, favorited, and retweeted by Sarah Bell. On March 1st, I reached 25,000 views. Another snow day on February 13th. I was tweeted by MTV on June 7th. On June 13th, I went to a Josh Phillips concert in Myrtle Beach, and the funny story about that is that he's not famous, but we went there early, we got chairs and sat front row, like made a row of chairs, and it was really embarrassing, and I don't follow him on Twitter anymore. On March 22nd, Allie Marie Evans stared in my tweet. On January 25th, I had my first job interview. On June 20th, I went to a radio station. On January 23rd, I was retweeted and favorited from JG. And I got seven retweets and nine favorites. And he was on The Real World last season, maybe. And then I was also tweeted by Jamie Larson, and she was also on Real World. My tweet got favorited by Kelly McKenzie on the 19th of January. Taylor Wright tweeted me and favorited my tweet on June 17th, and she is on Party Down South. And I know that these little events are mostly on Twitter, but I promise that's not all this video is. On June 16th, I was retweeted and favorited by Derek Liu. Lena from Summer Break here on YouTube followed me on March 4th. This is a basketball game ticket. And it was from a tournament. Then here's a big one, but I'll mention this again. The Miley Cyrus concert, I won tickets. I won four tickets to see her in Raleigh, and that was on April 8th. Here is the ticket from that. Another ticket from the same tournament. It was on February 19th. Then another ticket from the 17th. Snow day on January 29th and January 30th. I reached 100 subscribers on April 1st. I won two tickets to see The Neighborhood, and that was on July 8th. Here is the ticket from that. It's a little bit bent. I was retreated by Sebastian Michael on January 14th. Here's another basketball game ticket from February 14th. Joey Gatto followed me on April 28th, and I didn't know about Settle Down Kids until this year, so I'm really glad I found out about them. I became a Serengeti campus rep on January 21st, 2014. That's the first time anything like that has ever happened. May 16th was my last day as a junior. April 6th was my first Mike's concert at the Boathouse. I made an entire video about that. I took the ACT on March 4th. Like I said, I won tickets to see Miley Cyrus, and then I wrote down potential winner of the Miley Cyrus hashtag bangers strut sweepstakes on January 24th. On January 14th, I became a 17 Magazine Network affiliate on... August 6th was the Jesse McCartney concert. <laughs> on July 13th, I'm Schmacked followed me. On February 22nd, I went to a restaurant with my nephews. 
and my brother and his wife and my parents. I got my first paycheck for my job on February 16th. Um, E-Dubs answered one of my questions on one of her live streams on June 21st. February 8th, another basketball game. On January 25th, I went to the mall with four of my friends. We went to the pet store and the pet shelter. On September 11th, Michelle Fawn favorited my tweet. Elle Fowler retweeted me and Caitlin B retweeted me. On April 23rd, I donated blood for the first time and it was spring fling at my college. On June 8th, it was the Shwayze concert at the Boathouse with two of my friends. On January 22nd, I was retweeted and favorited by Casey Holmes or It's Blondie. <laughs> this is silly, but on March 20th, I was in the Florida and it was during the time of Playlist Live. So I was in the same state as Joe Sugg, Zoe, Alfie, Tyler Oakley, Jim, and Tanya. I just thought it was cool. I reached 110 subscribers on June 9th. I went to the Anthem 3 concert on March 4th, and that was Emblem 3, Jackson Guthy, MKTO, and it was at the Fillmore in Charlotte. On September 8th, Mike Stead tweeted me and Joe Sanagato, Sanagato favorited my tweet. On February 12th, I was noticed by Tess Christine here on YouTube. I was favorited and tweeted by Monica Church on January 22nd. The Travis Porter concert was on June 4th. If you watch Teen Mom 2, you know Janelle and I saw her mom at Walmart on June 19th. If you know who Stephen Kelly is, he usually does live streams and he said I just retweeted Megan on June 11th. Carly Christman retweeted me on March 5th. I got my Scotty McCreary concert tickets on January 11th. Adam and Nick from SDK answered my question on You Now on June 2nd. On April 3rd, I reached 30,000 views. On January 26th, I got Katy Perry tickets. On February 21st, my nephews came to visit. January 23rd, Dominic Dallas retweeted me. On January 18th, my school was shown on M on um, Team Mom 2. Adam Kaplan from UZ's buried my tweet on March 1st. Al Calderon followed and buried my tweet on February 7th, and he was on The X Factor. On January 9th, I received my first order from Shop Hopes. On June 1st, I was retweeted by Megan or Chabella. On September 12th, I won Mike's stunt tickets to see him at the Best Buy Theater in New York City. The problem is, I don't live in New York City, so I couldn't claim the tickets, and I couldn't forfeit them either. On March 8th, I went to my college's basketball game. On May 14th, Claudia Saluski, or Beyond Beauty Star, favorited my tweet. I did my first speech in public speaking, the talking resume, on January 23rd. On June 2nd, I went to Wrightsville Beach for my parents' anniversary. So last year, I made a list of 13 things that stood out to me from 2013, and I made a list of 14 things that I wanted to accomplish in the new year. So I thought that I would just read that off and let you know if that actually happened or not. I wanted to get a job, keep my room clean, meet new people, reach 100 subscribers, get at least a B in all of my classes, get more sleep, go to at least two concerts, read more books, be more confident, take more time on my videos, take more pictures, be more involved in school, figure out what I want to do as a career, and sign up for the SAT or ACT. So let's start with number one. And I might repeat some of the stuff on my list of things that I accomplished in 2014. So get a job, check. Keep my room clean, no. Meet new people, yes. Reach 100 subscribers, yes. Get at least a B in all my classes, no. Get more sleep, no. 
Go to at least two concerts. Yes. Go to, uh, read more books. No. Be more confident. Take more time, take more time on my videos. As you can see, this video is very long, so, kind of. Take more pictures. Yes. Be more involved in school. No. Figure out what I want to do as a career. Kind of. And sign up for the SAT or ACT. And I did take the ACT. November 9th, I was on a plane that went from Chicago to Charlotte and from Charlotte to Wilmington. Like I said, I went to the state fair, so that was on October 19th. And then here is a movie ticket. And I don't know what movie this is, but it was on, I think it's Annabelle. It was on October 4th. On uh, November 5th, I went to Winston-Salem for the night. October 27th, at work I got a tip, quote, for being so nice. So that was really nice. On October 28th, 2014, I was retweeted by Bo Casper Smart. And he is a choreographer, and he also dated Jennifer Lopez. On October 24th, I saw Ouija. On October 15th, I was complimented on my smile at work. On October 16th, Meredith Foster retweeted and favorited my tweet. October 25th was the Neo concert. And then on October 17th was the Columbus County Fair. And here's the other part of my ticket for Annabelle. And the last thing in this basket is just some confetti from the Katy Perry concert. Can't stop, won't stop moving. Don't speak the language. Music. Don't need explaining. I know that in the morning now. So I don't have tickets for all of them. So it was Emblem 3 was the first concert. And then Scotty McCreary, Mike Stud twice, Miley Cyrus, Travis Porter, The Neighborhood, Jess McCartney, Katy Perry. In Neo. So my list of 15 things that I wanted to accomplish next year, and I'll be able to look back on this. Number one, go to at least two concerts. So I already know I'm seeing Sam Hunt, and I have a list of concerts that I want to go to, but I haven't bought tickets, and I don't know who else is going on tour. Number two was apply to colleges, so next fall I'll be applying. Number three is reach 150 subscribers, and I'm at 123 now. Number four is go on another cruise. Number five is go to California and Las Vegas. Number six is reach 50,000 views. Number seven is get an A in my classes. Number eight is typical eat healthy. Number nine, spend more time on my videos. Number 10 is meet new people. Number 11, be more confident. Number 12, be active. Number 13, keep my room clean. Number 14, have clear skin. And number 15, don't buy any makeup. I'm going to add some of my fashion favorites from 2014 and kind of the story behind them. So, this shirt is from the Katy Perry Prismatic Tour and I went to the show in Raleigh. I wore this dress to see Sky McCreary and Emblem 3. I wore this shirt to see Swayze. I forgot to mention that. That was another concert I went to. This romper is from Shop Hotes, and I wore this on spring break. I wore this dress on the cruise, and I wore this dress to see Jesse McCartney, and it's from Shop Hopes. And I wore this to the Miley Cyrus concert and the Mike Stunt concert. So I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for my videos in 2015. Bye!